integral rules. This integral rule is a little bit more subtle about what it's saying, but in, after you think about it a little while, it does. it's not too surprising. It says if we have two functions, f and g, that are equal everywhere except for one point, then their integrals are the same. Essentially what that means is we can change one, one point on a function and we can keep the integral the same. That is, if we wanted to integrate a function that was equal to this, this blue curve everywhere except for this one point, we just change that one point, move it up and down. We don't change the value of the integral. And you can see why that's true. Remember, we, we take a whole collection of rectangles to approximate the area under this curve. Well, we might have one rectangle here with this blue dot associated with it that goes all the way up to there. Well, in the limit, the width of that rectangle is going to become infinitesimally small. So the contribution of that one point and the width of that rectangle is going to go to zero. That is, it's not going to contribute anything to the overall value of the integral. By changing just one point, we don't affect the value of the integral, and that's what this is saying. The value of the integral is affected by what happens with the overall function, but changing just one point at a time isn't going to affect what the overall integral is trying to measure. That's because of the way it's defined. So let's look at an example where we can use that. Suppose we wanted to integrate this function. It's x squared for x not equal to zero. It's three if x is equal to zero. So right here at zero, it has a different value, three. But our definition of the integral still applies to this type of a function. So we can still integrate this function using our definition of the integral and this rule. So if we want to integrate from minus one to one of f of x dx, that is if we want to go from minus one to one and find the integral of f of x dx, we don't have to worry about the fact that it was defined to be three at x equals zero. This rule tells us because this is just at a single point that instead we can integrate from minus one to one of x squared dx. That is we can change the value of f of x at x equals zero from three to zero squared and have the same integral. So that's using this rule right here. They have the same integral. Well, then it's easy to integrate x squared. That's x cubed over 3. Evaluate between 1 and minus 1. A third minus a negative a third ends up being 2 thirds. So the value of this integral from minus 1 to 1 is going to be equal to 2 thirds, even though the value of the function at that point has been changed. That's the idea of this integral rule, and it tells us something fairly fundamental about integrals. We'll use it in the next example to integrate a piecewise function.